Hi guys, so today I'm here with a pretty exciting tutorial. I haven't done like a makeup tutorial in a very long time, so I decided I would come back with something a little different. I typically do a lot of wearable looks, so I wanted to do something a little bit unwearable. Um, well, the eyes aren't that unwearable, but the lips definitely is. So this is going to be a really basic black smoky eye. This is the smoky eye that when you go to Sephora and you ask them for a smoky eye, this is the initial look that they will try and do on you, of course, unless you want something like gradient. But um, this is just the basic black smoky eye. I really, really like it. I think it brings out my eyes a lot, and I think it actually looks really nice. Plus Plus it takes literally like two seconds to just slap them on because it's a really easy process. And then of course I'm using one of the new mix, mix one of the new NYX Macaroon lipsticks to kind of put it all together. And I just thought it would be a little crazy and a little fun. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. To get started, I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow base. This one is just from Sephora. It's the Crayon Jumbo Crayon 24 Hour Liner in just the shade Black number 17. And I'm going to start by drawing a pretty thick line right on the lash line. doesn't really have to be perfect. Then taking sort of like a flat kind of concealer type brush and quickly blending that. You don't want it to sit for a long period of time because then the color will just stick and it won't be easy to blend. So I'm just going to blend this all over the eye. You might have to do this two or three times just to get the correct, you know, deepness that you want as well as all over the lid. So... You might have to do it a few times, but I'm not taking it any higher than the crease. I'm just putting it directly on the lid. All the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are going to be from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I'm going to start by taking the shade Naked 2, which is this nice kind of like light taupey shade, on a crease brush. And I'm just going to run this color through the crease. This is going to help us later on because black is such a hard shade to blend anyway. This is going to help kind of give us some definition and help with the blending process later on. And taking the shade Crave, which is the matte black in this palette, I'm taking a stiff, small brush, picking up a little bit of that color, and just packing this all onto the lid, not bringing it any higher than the crease. And you really want to pack this color on because you don't want the black to be like a light kind of wash of black. You want it to be very prominent. Taking the first blending brush, I'm just going to take that Naked 2 shade again and blend it. As you can see, it got a little bit lighter from the blending, so I'm just going to take a little bit more of the Crave color and put a little bit more black on. Taking a smaller brush in that black color, I'm just going to line my under my lower lashes. I'm also just going to highlight using the Foxy shade, which is a matte highlight shade. Then I'm just going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero to line my waterline. And then of course you want to apply mascara. I would prefer false lashes for this look, but all I have is mascara, so I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam. I'm just going to be using more of a natural shade, so I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. And for lips, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can use a nude, you could do a red if you really want, you could do a black and really pull off, you know, the Taylor Momsen look, but I decided to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be using one of my NYX Macaroon lipsticks, and this is the one in Pistachio, which is the mint green. I wore this the other day with this look, and I actually really, really liked it, so I'm going to be wearing this with it. And it may look a little scary and like Halloween-y, of course, you could change the lipstick, but I like it. So 
that is it for the completed kind of really really easy to do smoky eye I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said at the beginning this is like the Sephora smoky eye this is what they taught us to do as far as Sephora smoky eyes go so I hope you guys enjoyed it it's a little bit different than an everyday look but it's still something that I think you guys might like I'm sorry if I rushed through it I just got back from the beach so I don't look the bestest, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to me if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.